Hello, Bethlehem. Hello, Nunley and Bonacqua. Thank you all for joining us for this virtual Holy Communion service. We'll have an order of service printed so that you can follow along. And if you don't have your bread and juice ready with you now, you might want to hit pause and, and get those things ready. And we realize that in this time of isolation that we are all in, that you may not have grape juice and you may not have extra bread laying around. So the bishop has given us special permission during this, uh, this unusual time that any element that you have is totally acceptable. So if you have crackers, oyster crackers, uh, Ritz crackers, water or coffee or soda, uh, at this point in time, any element is totally acceptable as long as we observe communion in the spirit of our living God. You know, John Wesley, as our bishop has reminded us, was not only the founder of Methodism, but he was an innovator and he was a practical theologian. And our purpose in this service is to share the grace and the presence of our Savior, Jesus Christ, the best way we can during these challenging and trying times. So join us now as we approach Christ's table with grateful hearts. You'll find the responses on the screen. We're experiencing Holy Communion in a, in a new way today. And though we are physically separated from one another, we are still bound together as the family of God through our baptism. As members of the household of God, we now join together virtually, yet still present with one another as we gather from across the miles. The presence is marked by our shared praises, our shared prayers, and our shared hearing and affirming of God's word, and now in our shared eating. And now, as we share the great thanksgiving, each time the family, of, uh, the family response is said, you'll repeat back the response that has been given to you. The peace and presence of the Lord be with us, so we lift up our hearts. And the family says, we lift them up to God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God because it, the, because it is the right thing to do, not only now, but always, day after day after day. And the family says, day after day after day. We thank you, Creator God, that you made us in your image and breathed into us the breath of life. When we turned away and our love failed and our bodies diseased, you reached out to us again and again, providing healing, holiness, and a new life. When the flood came, you provided the ark. When the plagues came, you provided safety. When evening came, you provided a pillar of fire. When exile came, you provided a new song. Day after day after day, your love remains steadfast. And the family says, day after day after day. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join in their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might. And the family says, holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. And the family says, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. And the family says, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of God. Blessed is your son who came to preach the good news to the poor, release the captives, and recovery of sight of the blind. He freed the oppressed and announced that the time had come when you would save your people. He healed the sick. And the family says, he healed the sick. He is healing the sick now. And the family says, he is healing the sick now. He will heal the sick day after day after day. And the family says, day after day after day. On the night in which he gave himself for us, the Lord took bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And when the, supper, when the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, 
gave it to his disciples and said, drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Let us be a community of healers and hope givers as together we proclaim the mystery of faith. The family says Christ has died. The family says Christ is risen. And the family says Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and wine. Let them be for us the body and blood of Christ so that we might be for the world the body of Christ made whole by his witness, passion, and life. In this season of social distancing, may you remind us that we are never spiritually distant from you. We belong to your body. The family says we belong to your body. May the Spirit use us to heal and reconcile in Jesus' name. The family says we will heal and reconcile in Jesus' name. And now, Holy Spirit, make us one in Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world. And the family says, Amen. Would you join with me as we pray together the prayer that our Lord and Savior taught us? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who've trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. This bread reminds us that any life, no matter how broken or sick, or distorted it may become, can be whole again. And this cup over which we give thanks reminds us that any life, no matter how empty or lonely or isolated it may become, can be filled again. These are the gifts of God for the family of God. And the family says, thanks be to God. I invite you to prayerfully partake in Holy Communion by whatever means and elements you now have. Craig, the body and the blood of Christ given for you. Jim, the body and blood of Christ 